To get started, make sure you have your Photoshop open and ready to go. And you want to download this image here. Make sure you hit the download link at the top right hand corner. And you want to drag this and drop it right here in Photoshop in this area. So this tutorial is going to go over all the different selection tools. So these tools are important for selecting parts of an image and manipulating them. So I'm going to start by zooming in, so control plus, and then I'm going to press my space bar and pan upward. So that way I have this image here at the top left um, and zoomed in close so I can see what I'm doing. So the move tool is at the top, we've already gone over that. Below that you have the rectangular marquee tool. So if you press and hold at the little triangle on the tool, you'll see there are other tools nested inside of there. We'll get to the next one here in a moment, but start with your rectangular marquee tool. And your goal here is to select this rectangular building. So you wanna start at the left hand corner, press down and drag out a rectangle and get all of the buildings selected like that. And now we're going to edit the color. So I'm going to go to image here at the top in your menu, go down to adjustments, and I'm going to select hue saturation because I would like to change the hue, also known as color. So you want to drag the slider to any color but the one that it is. So blue, yellow, green, whatever, as long as it's not red. Hit OK. And that is the first one. So when you have the selection active, when you want to move on, you need to deselect. So there are a few ways to do that. One way is to simply click and it'll deactivate or so if I have another active selection, hit control D and that will also deselect. Finally, another way to do it. So if you have an active selection, you can go up to select, deselect. So those are three different ways you can deselect a selection. And from here, go ahead and go to file, save as, save it on your computer, navigate to this PC, find your U drive, go into your intro to digital art folder, Photoshop tutorials, and then go ahead and make sure this is uh, titled Photoshop selection tools. Change this to a Photoshop file and hit save. And after every tutorial, we're going to save it as one document to keep updating it.